Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Temperatures have warmed a lot in the last day, and we're going to continue to see those numbers climb. Today, I think getting into about the lower 60s, but truth be told, there's going to be a range of numbers all across Northeast Ohio. Some people pushing 70 right along the lakeshore. It's going to be a bit cooler, and we do have a stray shower chance for the home opener tomorrow. Keep that in mind. It's most likely after the sun goes down, but if you're headed to the game, maybe some layers. Hello, I'm John Rutter. It is Sunday, April 4th. Now here's a look at your top local stories. More than 2,200 new cases of the coronavirus were reported on Saturday, which is above the 21-day average in the state. This comes as 31% of Ohio's population has received their first dose of a vaccine. That's more than 3.6 million people, and 18% have completed their vaccinations. Starting this week, second doses of the vaccine will be administered at the Wolstein Center Mass Vaccination Site. According to the Ohio Department of Health, second doses will start on April 6th and go through April 26th. After that, the Johnson & Johnson single-dose vaccine will be distributed from April 27th to May 10th. If you've been binging movies on your favorite streaming services and are looking for new films to watch, grab your popcorn because the 45th annual Cleveland International Film Festival starts this week and this year the festival has gone completely online which means that you can watch more than 100 feature films and more than 180 short films from the comfort of your couch. Some of the movies include an Oscar nominated short film, some focused on Northeast Ohio as well as animated films. Even though it's virtual you should still make your viewing list and snag that ticket soon. Just like at the in-person festival we are limited to a certain number of seats. So we, we do encourage people to prioritize the films you want to see most. Watch those first because some films may sell out. The festival officially kicks off this Wednesday and goes until April 20th. And not only can you see all of those great movies, you can also listen to conversations with some of the filmmakers. Tickets are still available and we'll be posting a link with more information on our News 5 app and website. You can hop on over to a pretty sweet display today. Jelly Beanville's annual Easter display is back in Euclid. You can catch the display and the Easter Bunny, of course, today and tomorrow on Zeman Avenue. This year marks 60 years since the event was first launched. They will be accepting donations for the Journey Center for Safety and Healing. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.